Hey what's up guys, it's Wintergar here. Today's video is going to cover the new update for Elgar on Exploit versions 1.21. You can find the download links in the description, uh, so go ahead and check that out first before you watch the rest of the video. I'm really excited about this update as it allows you to both livestream to other websites and Twitch TV and also add your Elgato screen to the exploit, whereas previously you'd have to have both programs running, which can be very CPU intensive. I'll go into some of the benefits of streaming an exploit in a moment as I cover some of the main features of exploit with Elgato Game Capture. First off, let's uh, show you guys what you're able to do in XSplit. First you'll notice that down here on the right there's uh, different scenes. These allow you to change between the different windows, showcasing things from uh, media files to webcams, gameplay, using hotkeys on your keyboard. Uh, here's the setup I currently use. Um, I'll show you guys how to access all of these features in a moment. So basically I have one screen for my gameplay, one screen for a close-up of a webcam, an AFK screen, and also a um, media screen, which basically plays a little video clip. Now that you guys have seen what XSplit is capable of, I'll move on to how to add each of these features in XSplit. I'm using the premium version at the moment as Elgato very kindly gifted it to me. Uh, lots of their partners are holding giveaways, so make sure to follow Elgato on Twitter to get access to these awesome giveaways. Right, so first off, to add the Elgato game capture display at the XSplit, click on Add, New Camera, and then select the Elgato game capture device. You can find this in the bottom left. The first time you open it, it'll take a few seconds to load in. Uh, once it's loaded, you can drag the window bigger. For now we'll drag it to full screen so um, you want your viewers to be able to see all of the action in the scene. Uh, you're able to edit the settings by right clicking on the Elgato game capture and selecting configure. Video input on the camera tab. This will present you with a similar window to the Elgato software. You're able to select your input device here as well as change the colour, saturation and resolution. I'd advise that you guys set the resolution of the Elgato screen here to the same resolution as what you plan to be streaming in. For example in 480p for a 480p stream which is uh, the standard definition or 720 for a 720 stream. This is just so that um, when the XSplit program converts it, it doesn't have to do as much work, which basically means there's less CPU load for the program. The next thing that I want to do is add your microphone. To do this, go to the Tools, General Settings, and under the Generals tab, select your microphone, and set the audio delay to 1400 milliseconds. Uh, this will ensure that your mic matches up with your in-game footage. However, you may need to tweak this, um, so the best thing to do is to host a live stream where you test it, and just get your streamers to let you know if your voice is coming up the same time as the gameplay. And once you've done this, you need to remember this number as you'll be using it later on if you add a webcam. How about letting the viewers see us on a webcam? XSplit supports the majority of webcam inputs. To add a new camera, you can select Add in the bottom left corner and select New Camera and then your webcam device. If you're unable to see the camera, you need to move it to the top of the layers in the Scene Sources selection on the left. Basically, whatever's at the top will be at the very front and whatever's at the bottom will be in the background. Position your camera and then right click on it, or select settings on the left and click on configure. You want to set the delay to the same value as what you set for your mic, for example uh, 1400 milliseconds. This is so that the camera matches your voice. Now that we have our first scene set up, I'll show you guys how to add other scenes and create hotkeys to access them on the fly. To add a new scene, simply click on another scene. This scene is going to be a close-up webcam for those times in between games where you might want to let your viewers see you in a larger window. To do this, we'll add a new web camera. Check that the delay is set to the same as your mic, for example, 1400 milliseconds, and we'll also add a background image. To do this, select Add New Media, find the image you want and use it and hit Open. Drag the image to fit your screen and place it at the very bottom of the scene sources list so that it's in the background. We'll also add a small screen for our gameplay so that people can see if our game's loaded in and uh, they can also remind us if we haven't noticed to switch it back over to the gameplay scene. Now to switch between these scenes on the fly, click on Tools, General Settings and under the Hotkeys tab you can see a list of all of the hotkeys available. Select the scene you're currently on and assign it a hotkey. I use the number pad as I rarely use it while gaming. And also while you're here go ahead and create the hotkeys for the scenes we'll be creating next and once you're done, back out of the options. Now when you press the hotkey you should see that it switches seamlessly between the two scenes using a fade transition. You can change this effect applied here by selecting view, transitions. Next we'll set up the AFK page and show you how to add text. As before, add the background image, then click on to add title, and you'll be able to add titles onto your screen. Choose a colour that stands out from your background. In my case, it's a red font. You can access this scene by pressing the hotkey you assigned earlier. The next scene is a video clip. This could be a short advert or a promotional clip for either your YouTube channel or stream. The one that I'm going to add is the Elgato opening. To add this, click on Add New Media and select your video clip, then configure the clip by right-clicking on it and deselecting Remember Playback. This will allow you to replay this clip whenever you press the assigned hotkey. So if you ever play um, one of your media files and it doesn't loop the next time you try and play it, you need to remember to deselect Remember Playback. This is it for a basic overview of the Elgato's features with XSplit. Thanks for watching the video and if you found it useful, please leave a like. And remember, you can leave questions or comments below, or by tweeting Elgato Support on Twitter, at Elgato Support. There is a link in the description along with a bunch of other useful links. Just wanted to say a big thanks to Elgato for bringing us this update as they really listen to their users' feedback, so if you have any problems, make sure to drop them a message. 
The next tutorial I've got lined up is a guide on exploits configuration. This will go into detail on uh, live streams and what you need to know to get started with the best quality live streams that you can uh, provide. So guys, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch TV for videos and live streams, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.